Which is why I think of Definians, it's not just understanding images, it's understanding geospatial data. And there's a lot of feature extraction software packages out there. Well, I shouldn't say a lot, but there's an increasing amount. Um, they, they are very interesting. They do a lot of good things. But there's three things that I found out that I needed to do when it came to doing the, the work that we do. That is, I have to bring both vector and raster data in. Okay, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel every time. If people have mapped buildings, I'm going to use those buildings in my classification process. I need to be able to use expert systems. Okay, the human is the expert. Okay, statistical software packages don't know anything about images. People know about images. We've we've been analyzing images our whole life. We are the experts, not statistical software packages. Certainly not statisticians. And then finally, it has to be done on the enterprise, okay? In the projects that we're doing, we're analyzing as much data for a given community as sometimes as the entire Landsat, if you were to grab Landsat scenes for the entire US, okay? So the idea that you can, you know, like you see in a lot of these journal articles, subset out a 10K, 10K by 10K area, build your own feature extraction algorithm, and it's going to produce great results. Unfortunately, it just doesn't work in reality when you've got to do these huge areas. It has to be done on the enterprise. You have to have server-side capabilities. And so our approach has been to sort of take these elements that make humans such good image interpreters and apply them using the Definions technology to the, the data that we have for our urban areas. So just a quick sort of flash through here, we're going through objects one at a time, getting at features that are easy to get at, finding relational features, building rules to get at them, reclassifying, resegment resegmenting, looping the whole time, creating more and more rules until we get the end result here. Okay, and the end result is very, very high accuracy, very detailed, very believable land cover data that we can use for our urban tree canopy assessment work. I mean, you can see just all those little tiny trees that we map there. And incidentally, we actually map those by mapping their shadows. We couldn't even see the trees on the quick bird imagery, but we could see their shadows. So we mapped their, mapped their shadows.